Good morning, folks. It's January 8, 2023. I just finished filming a spider rigging video. Caught a limit of crappie. I'm in a cove in the gravoy arm of Lake of the Ozarks. This thing is loaded with uh, uh, black crappie, some good eaters. Like I said, I caught a limit spider rigging, hadn't done that in a long time. I just can't leave. I'm gonna just catch some for the fun of it, do something different. I've put my spider rig stuff down. I'm gonna throw a little jerk bait. I'm gonna throw some corks. I'm just gonna pitch to them. I'm gonna find these big schools, just see if we can catch them. Stay with me. All right, there's some out there about 24 feet. I got a little jerk bait. I love to catch them on a the jerk bait. It's a little shallow running, small, lucky craft. There it comes. It's right over them. There's one looking at it. Come on. Ah, oh, man came right by him. Didn't take it. This thing only runs about three foot deep. But these fish have been anywhere from real shallow to down to the bottom, but they're in just huge schools. So, see if I can find a big school, throw in the midst of them. There they are, just like that right there. All right, I see where they are. Oh, he hit it. I love it when they hit that jerk bait. It's a suspending jerk bait, and it's only getting down about three feet, but it's it's neutrally buoyant. So you throw it out there and you stop it, and it just kind of sits there. And sometimes those fish look at it and they just can't stand it, and they'll knock the daylight out of it. This one's not very big, but they're fun to catch. Like I said, I already got a limit in the boat, so I'm not keeping any anyway. Woo-wee, that's fun. Let's do it again. I'll show you. Point this right at that dock. They are all over. There's a bunch of them in the dock. I could shoot docks, but I've done that. I may do it before the day's over, but I just want to catch them fun ways. Not that dock shooting isn't fun. I love catching them on a jerk bait. You gotta figure out if they want it just sitting still or they want it kind of moving. There it comes. And you see it moving through there. Now watch that fish come up. Come on. Boy, he can't, that's a pretty good fish there too. He came up and looked at it, but didn't, didn't take it. Come on. Just let it sit there. Look at him, look at it. Give it a little twitch. Oh, come on, fish. Another one looking at it. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. It's just a little lucky craft. Jerk bait, I think it's called a 65. Now right off the bat, one hit it. Those fish are down there about, well, they're all over from the surface down to 16 feet deep, but a big congregation of them are around eight to 10 feet. There's one looking at it. Oh, he ran right at it and didn't take it. I got my old cork too, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna put the old cork on them. And I got some minnows. All right, let's get the old cork with a slip bobber. I tell you, they were eating, a, when I was spider rigging, they were eating a plastic, a muddy water, two inch in sort of a purple chartreuse color called a bonbon. They kind of like that. I think I'm gonna have to put one of those on. Just got a slip cork set up here. It's got a muddy water monkey glow, but I'm gonna change that out. That's the old bonbon bon color. The fish are kind of finicky. I'm gonna bite part of the head off of it. Shorten it up even a little bit more. I'm gonna put a minnow on it. Tip it with a minnow, I got them. Why not? I'm gonna set the depth on this slip bobber about eight feet. It's a seven and a half foot rod. That slip cork's right at the end of it. That ought to be about right. There we go. I thought if we could get away from them, cast out there, maybe they'd be a little more active. Got him, got him, he took it. Just come up with it, and the old floater just laid over on its side. That's a nice fish there. Oh yeah. Is that a white bass? Oh no, that's a good crappie. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a nice one. White crappie. Yes, sir. It's dandy. Let's see how long that fish is. He come up and hit it. Didn't even take the float under. Just turned it up on its side. That fish is almost 12 inches. About 11 and 3 quarters. Nice. All right, that's fun. Do it again. I'm just spot lock sitting here. But I've seen the school out there on the live scope. Just give it a little pop every now and then. We should be in the zone. I'm gonna put me a little bitty hair jig on here in a minute because I think these fish are a little bit finicky. Oh, oh. <laughs> Missile coming in. He hit it. He hit it. Are they still out there? Nope, they moved off. Throwing into a dry hole. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they come. Ah, oh, there they are. These school just move around. There's 30 feet out there. Okay, spot lock. I know where they're at, where they're at, at least right now. Come on. Might just have to start casting some to them too, see if they'll get it swimming. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. Got him. Same deal. Same deal, cork just fell over. Just fell over. Oh, little one. Boy, that's white fish, though. It's about everything I caught this morning, with the exception of, I think, maybe one, were black crappie. That's white crappie. White crappie want the old cork. I tell you, they seem to like that purple and chartreuse color. And I've got a little bitty hair jig that color. I'm gonna put it on. Look at that, that's just a little 164th ounce hair jig. I'm gonna need a little weight to get it down, which I'll put under the cork. But...
Okay, I got that little hair jig. We'll cinch down with a good tight knot, and I pull that knot down to the front, back of that eye, and then that way it sets up right. All right, I got a little split shot there. Let's see if that's going to be enough weight. All right, let's find some fish on the old live scope. All right, I can see them come look at it. But they're not, they're just not biting it. So I'm gonna keep experimenting around. I'm gonna find something they want. Cause I can see them out there. I'll give it one more time with this and then we're gonna try something else. This don't work. May just cast to them, swim it through them. See if I can get a reaction bite. There he goes, there's one that took it. There's one that took it. Oh, he feels pretty good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, just keep fighting, that's a dandy. That's a dandy there, folks. Oh yeah, he liked the old little bitty 164th ounce Mike Friend hair jig. Boy, that little bitty hook, when <laughs> it gets them in there, I mean, there's just a little old jig. Look at that fish. Man, look at that one, folks. That's a dandy there. See how long that fish is, what it weighs. Maybe too big for my old green deal, yeah? He's over, he's over 13, about 13 and a half inches. Let's see what he weighs. Just for the fun of it, not doing anything else are we well all right of course it never fails battery is dead in my other scale but i just happened to have another one look at there i know you can't see that i try to show it all the time but one one about 121 to one it won't lock in come on 123 Pound and a quarter. That's a dandy little fish. All right, thank you. Let's see if we can get another one. I guess I'll leave that little hair jig on there for a minute. For sure. And I'm at the right depth. Oh, I thought he's going to take it. Yeah, yeah, he was playing with it. He was playing with it, didn't want to take it down. Another nice one. Not nearly like that other one, but fine keeper specimen of a fish. Whole black crappie. Where are those big whites? All right. That's fun. This is fun. Oh, oh, he hit it. Incoming. <laughs> Incoming. Man, I just can't stand it. I got to throw that jerk bait again. I know they're just not hitting it, but I really want them to. I really want them to. Those fish are fairly shallow. And this jerk bait runs fairly shallow. I just kind of pull it down a little bit. one hit it <laughs> I love that I love that when they hit a jerk bait oh yeah <laughs> there we go another little black crappie all right I change out the hooks on these little jerk baits I put some gold trebles or number sixes 
I don't know if it makes a difference, but helps my confidence factor. Let's try that again. That was fun. I'm just throwing this on my B&M six foot sharpshooter, my dock shooting rod. It's a great rod for jerking a little crank bait or jerk bait. Got a same reel I was using on my spider uh, spider rig rods, just a B&M Pro 100. There he is, a reel with eight pound K9 clear fluorocarbon. <laughs> When they hit it and yank on it, it's fun. Jerking them. Jerk bait. I've weighted that just a little bit on the bottom to make it sit real still when you quit yanking on it. It doesn't sink, it doesn't rise. More fish out there. Love catching them this way. Oh, he hit it right off that gummit. Man, they, look at that screen there. They are all over this cove out here, just suspended out here. Hundreds of these little black crappie. And every now and then, pretty good one. Reeling it down, jerk it a little bit, just kind of let it sit. I mean, if just sitting still and they finally will come up and just hammer it. Just hammer it. <laughs> Another decent little fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a white crappie. The whites are b uh, bigger than the blacks today. I don't know what happened to all the big, nice black crappie that were in this lake. I think the jerk baiters caught them all. Bass fisherman. But that's a nice one. Let's see. That fish is about 11 and a quarter inches long. I like it. I don't know if you can see that bait under the water there, but it just, it's neutrally buoyant. It just sits there. Won't do anything. Just kind of shimmers a little bit. Those fish, when it just sits there and their face can't hardly stand it. Okay, I see where they are. It's right where they were. Right where they were. Okay, I'm just going to kind of crank it down, give it a couple jerks, and just kind of let it sit. Kind of be patient. He hit it. He hit it. That's a little one, I think. Well, I don't know. Waking up. I think he hit it and came right at me. Yep. Yep. Keep her. Keep her black. Blacks are smaller. See, he hit that front hook. Got the back one back by his eyeball. You come up and attack that thing from the head and get that front hook. Yeah, fun, fun. I don't know if you can see my bait. See it? I'm jerking it. Look at that fish. Come look at it. They'll come look at it a lot of times and leave it. The aggressive ones that want to eat will come whack on it. All right, we've had fun doing that. Let's see what else we can do. 
Okay, I got a little living the dream kind of clear. Got some silver and blue speck in it. I'm gonna try that on a little 132nd ounce orange jig head and I'm just gonna cast to them. How about that? Let's see. Yeah, they are. They're thick. You can walk on them. That's right. Sure. Then they're gone. Now I've caught some on the jerk bait, some on the cork. Now I'm just going to try to cast to them a little bit. There we go. There we go. You all bass fishing or crappie fishing? You catching any on your jerk bait? Yeah. Kind of let that one fall and jigged it a little bit. There he is. Maybe on to something here, just letting it fall. They're not huge, but they're fun. Okay, so we caught them another way now, just casting to them. So that's cork, that's a jerk bait, casting to them, minnow, no minnow. Casting these on my BM 75 series or 75th anniversary uh, series rod, and 75th anniversary reel, seven and a half foot. I love this rod and reel combo. I've got 10 pound K9 braid on the reel, but I'm usually fishing at Truman, but I put a eight pound K9 fluorocarbon leader on the end of this for fishing here. This water's a lot clearer. I don't know if you need to, but I did. We well, let one little group see it a few times and you better kind of move on. They can catch one or two and then they just kind of get wise to you, I think. All right. Cast about one or two more times, and then I'm going to do something else just for the fun of it. There's one. There's one. Yep. About like what we've been catching. All right, we can catch them on that. Let's try something else. We're just having fun, hodgepodge fishing. Tell you what I'm gonna do with this one. This back to that little blue or purple and uh, chartreuse hair jig. I'm gonna put me a nibble on it. All right. Just put a yellow nibble on our little hair jig. Now, where's where's our fish? <laughs> wow. Might have to get the old dock shooter out. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There's one now. Do what he's supposed to do, yeah. Likes that little hair jig with a nibble on it. <laughs> All right, there we go, another keeper. Still got my nibble too, thank you. Boy, look. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw my jerk bait around a couple more times just cause I love it so much. And then I'm gonna get my dock shooter out and I'm gonna shoot around this dock and then I'm gonna go home. I've had fun been a great day today. I think I'm gonna have every rod in my rod box out before I quit. Saw him. I saw him. Come on, one more on jerk bait. And then I'll quit. 
on the jerk bait. And then I'll shoot this duck and then I'll go home. There he is. All right, I said give me one more. <laughs> it's little, I think, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's on the old jerk bait. Yep. That's old Keeper Black. I'm telling you, that is fun. Do I say that too much? This is fun. I just love fishing. You probably can't tell it. Yep. All right. I said I'd put it up. I will. I'm gonna get to get in the box, get the dock shooter out, see what I got tied on. We're gonna shoot up under this dock. Get all my nibbles out of my pocket before my wife gets on to me for running them through the washer and the dryer. All that good stuff. Just shorten it up. Just because they're finicky. Just like that, I can get that crappie over that crossbar if I need to. Oh, there he is. We'll see if I can. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, I came over the crossbar. That's a real good fish. Yes, sir. There's one of them blacks we're talking about. Nice, man. Maybe I should have been shooting docks all day. Yes, sir. Dandy. Dandy. Man, I just can't help but throw to these fish. They're right out here in front of me. I said I was going to shoot the dock, but caught one on shooting the dock. Now I won't go back to it. I will. Got one following it, two follow it. Got him, got him, finally. Man, they've got, got to be pretty finicky biters, folks. That's it for me. I've had a great time today. I'm gonna quit, go to the house. It's uh, 2.20. I've caught a ton of fish today. Like I say, I caught a limit this morning spider rigging. I hope to do a video out of that before my film turns out. Then I'm going to do a video of just messing around here with cork and a jerk bait and whatever, shooting a dock or two. But uh, I had fun. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I hope you'll hit the subscribe, the like, do all those things. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for being with me. Keep watching. I'll be doing more.